Hi, uh, today we just wanted to tell you the differences between our um, mineral drops because they're really awesome and we love that we have them. We have three. This is um, our electrolyte drops and magnesium drops and fasting drops. So we wanted to tell you the differences so you would understand which application you would use them at. Um, I'll, Chris, why don't you go ahead and tell them how much is in each yeah. thing so they can know that. So the, the electrolyte drops is kind of a balanced mix of sodium, potassium, and magnesium. There's 125 milligrams, and this is per capful. So this little bottle right here is the pocket flask, and the cap happens to be a serving spoon. <laughs> so in a capful of the electrolyte drops, there's 125 milligrams of sodium, 130 gram milligrams of potassium, and 45 milligrams of magnesium. Now in the magnesium drops, that's more concentrated just on magnesium. So there's 220 milligrams of magnesium, but only 30 milligrams of sodium and 35 milligrams of potassium. In the uh, fasting drops, that one's really designed for fasting. And when you're fasting, the most important thing that you need is salt. So that has 220 milligrams of sodium per capful with just 22 milligrams of potassium and 36 milligrams of magnesium. It's, it's kind of the leftover. It's the lowest we could get for the potassium and magnesium. It's what's naturally occurring. And all of these, in addition to those three electrolytes, those key electrolytes, they have a lot of chloride, and they also have a lot of trace minerals, the kind that you don't get from filtered water because it's been taken out. These, they're very vital, and it's the reason people really like the pink Himalayan salt and the Celtic gray sea salt, is for those trace minerals. So it's not just salt, it also has all of those trace minerals as well. Okay, great. Um, so really quickly, I just wanted to, to tell you when you would use these. So electrolyte drops is like an everyday thing, especially when you're doing keto, um, because you are gonna flush out your electrolytes uh, faster, and so you're going to want to use, um, want to supplement with electrolytes. And there are a lot of, electrolyte supplements out there and a lot of them are really really great one thing that's really cool about our product is it doesn't have any sweetener or flavoring so you can put it in anything that you want water a soda coffee whatever you feel like it you can add it to and it just has a, it just adds a salty flavor because it just tastes like salt um, anyway with the electrolyte uh, drops you use it every day um, however kind of you feel what works good for your body and then I would use more if you're hiking or exercising or or doing whatever because you're going to use up deplete those electrolytes that are in your in your body so that's when you use those the mag drops I specifically um, wanted to uh, carry because I've been supplementing with magnesium at night and a little bit in the mornings because I've been getting headaches periodically and leg cramps sometimes. And so um, a lot of times the electrolyte drops, if you're doing it every day, will, will be enough magnesium for that. But depending on what your body needs or how much stress you have or whatever, you may need to supplement with magnesium in addition to that. So I take it um, to help me sleep and to help with headaches and to help with leg cramps. And so that's um, mostly what we recommend you use it for. And We've also had a lot of people report that um, supplementing with magnesium will really help with mood problems mm, like yeah, depression. Huge. Um, and we have a friend who he, pu he linked to an, a published article showing that when di type 2 diabetics were given a magnesium supplement it improved their insulin response and lowered their blood glucose. Which is cool. It's really cool. Just from magnesium, that's magnesium, sorry. Oh, that's fine. That's good to know. <laughs> we could even link that article somewhere yes. if you wanted. Um, and then the fasting drops is uh, sodium, so much sodium, so that when you're fasting, you maybe wouldn't need to use this as much. Um, you just want to use this, and you'd want to use a lot. How many capsules did you say? So um, one of our friends who does a lot of stuff with fasting, she said that based on the recommendations that they have, as far as how much sodium you need a day, you would probably want between about 10 to maybe 15 servings worth. Uh, this little bottle right here holds 10 servings worth. So if you were doing fasting and you weren't wanting to have anything else during the day, 
you could do probably a bottle, one of these little bottles worth, um, you know, all of your water, and maybe a, a bottle and a half. And that would give you all of the sodium that you need for the entire day, as well as the other trace minerals that are so important. So we could even carry uh, these in a bigger bottle if anybody tells us that they want <laughs> us to, um, because it really, really helps with fasting. And yep. yes, you can just add salt to your water, that's not a big deal. The nice thing about this is it doesn't leave anything in the bottom of your glass. Um, and like I said, it doesn't have any random other things in it. No fillers, no flavors, no sweeteners, no any of that. Just the trace minerals and then the three that we've said. And the, the, the type of minerals that is in this, you'll notice that it is a liquid. All of the minerals are completely dissolved right now. Um, it's, it's in the highest bioavailable form that you can possibly get. Uh, the magnesium happens to be a magnesium chloride, chloride. Uh, which really is absorbed well. Um, and so, like Miriam said, when you add the fasting drops to your water, with typical sea salt, uh, when you add that to your water, you're going to end up with kind of sand on the bottom of your glass, and it's going to ha have kind of a dirty taste to it. This doesn't have any taste at all. It just, well, other than it tastes, it tastes salty. It tastes like salt. Yeah. The but it, it doesn't leave anything in your glass, and, yeah. and really you can put it in anything. So. And the magnesium does have a slight bitter taste, um, depending on how much you put in. And we don't recommend doing an entire day's dosage at all one in one time. go. Yeah. Just, it's a little bit hard for your body to absorb that much magnesium that fast. So you want to do maybe half of a cap early in the morning and then half of a cap before bed, something or like that. Or halfway through the day, you know, whenever you feel like you need it. I always just make sure I take a little bit at night for sure because it really does help me fall asleep. Yep. I have a hard time falling asleep. It's always been my challenge. So. Yep. So thanks for joining us and hopefully you know more now about the different electrolyte supplements that we carry. Have a good day.